So you so. just talked, before your opening comment, you've talked about ba basketball. And before your opening comment, you talked about football. What the heck are you going to talk about for your opening comment? I think I've buried the lead because the <laughs> one story that everybody in town really cares a, a lot more about probably right now is Frankie Lindor right. and the fact that there's some conversation going on. Here's so. Bud Shaw. Thanks, Les. The Indians and, and Francisco Lindor are talking contract, which is better than not talking contract, especially for the Indians from a PR standpoint. The more Lindor talks about loving Cleveland and wanting to bring a championship here, the more some fans will use it to bash the Dolans for not being able to keep star talent. Even though when the same kind of star talent came of age under Dick Jacobs, they too left for bigger money or were traded first. The Indians have to be seen as pursuing Lindor whether or not they land him. This is not to suggest it's all one big game. Terms of the offer they make will no doubt get leaked and shared around baseball. But in the end, that offer will pose a question to Lindor that he has yet to answer. Frankie, you say you want to win titles here, but will you take less money to ensure the Indians can build around you? I don't blame him if the answer is no, but to me, that's the issue here. And the Indians are sort of on record as saying they would not commit more than 25% <laughs> of the payroll, team's payroll, to one guy. And he's a fantastic player. I mean, he plays one of the most important, I think the most important defensive position? Yeah. Well, catcher. One of, okay. Yeah. Um, He's a guy that likely, from the sounds of it, they'll drop into the number three spot in the in the lineup this right. year, maybe, or keep it at, at leadoff. Um, he lights up the stadium. He lights up the town. He's got a great attitude about baseball. I could see why they would go above and beyond the norm to try to keep him. I just think in the end, he's going to have an agent saying, are you really willing to let dozens of millions of dollars, you know, 50 million sit on – the table because yeah. you turned down another job somewhere? Jeff Phelps of 92.3 The Fans has had a study in front of him today that said there were, he took the top 10 paid guys in baseball from last year, and six of them were pitchers, four of them were position players. None of the position players made it to the postseason, and five of the six pitchers did. So you can make an argument, although I don't think if you're going to use that 25% <laughs> of the payroll, I don't think you'd use it in this case. But you can make an argument that if you're going to spend that kind of money, you spend it on the best pitcher rather than the best yeah, player. Yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive because you would think, well, I, why would I do that? Why, when I could have Frankie Lindor five days out of five right. days, why would I give it to a pitcher and only get him yeah. one day out of five? But if you go by the one year, and I know that's a short sample size, that, that's what it shows. Yeah.